Boiling kite board, it couldn't go downwind fast. No. Now they've solved that problem, and he's faster upwind and just as fast downwind. Amazing. And as we look out at Luna, uh, I mean, sorry, Emirates Team New Zealand, they just showed they're going 40 knots downwind. So far, the speed record 44.2, 50 miles per hour, but they say they've beaten it. They say they've beaten it. That's easily plausible. 50.8 miles per hour is the highest mark we've seen recorded, but there's more in the bank. Yeah. Well, let's listen to NBC for a second because I think they got some great onboard stuff going on. So the Kiwis continue to motor down the course as they make their way towards the next mark. It'll be mark number four. There you see in the distance, the Italians and their boat speed has now dropped down to less than a knot as they are obviously trying to get some repairs done on that boat. We are scheduled for a second race today, but that uh, that shot pretty much says it all. They are in not race mode right now. Nowhere to go as they've had a major malfunction on the controls of that wing. Just a, a break, literal break that these guys cannot afford to have, and they know it. You can see it in the look of their eyes. Chris Draper there, the helmsman just keeping the boat straight. Xavi Fernandez, 36-year-old out of Spain, just to his left, and uh, wow, that, that is a picture of frustration. I'm, I'm sure <laughs> you have the, the Formula One race car heading back at you at about a thousand miles an hour, according to that photo. It's I'm sure they're just not bringing in their support team right now, forcing the Kiwis to go around the race course and just maybe luck that Hail Mary that you were talking about the other day, the Hail Mary that they might break something and actually not be able to finish themselves. misfortune like Luna Rosa does, the other team, New Zealand, doesn't look at them, doesn't discuss it, it's kind of bad karma, and that was situation reversed the other day, you almost feel bad, but you don't want to acknowledge it when you're in the middle of the race here. They're about 15 seconds before boundary, Luna. consideration out here. Is the wind going to get too strong for a second race? So Luna Rosa can kind of just sit and wait for an hour or so and see if the wind gets too strong. Right now we're about one knot below the limit, but for sure that will build here over the next hour and a half hour or so. So what, as we look down there, and Emirates Team New Zealand is going to go through that gate and go to the finish line, we see Luna Rosa hanging out. One of their tactics could be to wait and see if the wind limit comes up too high so that they cancel or postpone the second race. And if they do that, then they don't have to use their mulligan. Now, we're going to stand by and wait until we hear the official word on that. And if something does happen and for some reason they can't race that second race, you guys are invited back on Friday 